Hello and welcome to PMZLounge.com. Today we are studying flowcharts. Now flowcharts are also one of the seven basic quality tools. First link in the description will take you to a related article on flowcharts. So if you would want to read about flowcharts rather than watching a video, check out the first link in the description. And second link is also very, very important because it is the entire playlist of the seven basic quality tools. Third link also extremely important because that is the playlist of quality management knowledge area. So every video that we have done on quality management knowledge area, third link in the description. Check these three links out. Very, very important. That being clear, that being said, let's get started about flow charts. So flow charts help you visualize how processes work. So this is about visualizing. This is the keyword here. You can use a flow chart to show how the tasks interrelate and their dependencies. So if the tasks are interrelated, the project tasks, if they are interrelated, you can show that. And if there are dependencies among the tasks, you can show that visually as well. So flow charts important for interrelation and dependencies to be shown visually. Also, flow charts help in showing decision making processes. So if you have a decision making process for your project, let's say a change comes in. What is the decision making process? Whether or not you're going to accept the change that can be shown in a flow chart. So enough being said, let's look at an example flow chart, which is going to help us understand the topic much better. So this is a flow chart and this is a flow chart of a software development project. Number one is requirements. So you get the requirements for your project and that could come from your engineering team that could come from the customer that could come from the project, uh, not the project manager, the product manager, project manager may also have a say. So you have the requirements first. After that, you go to design. So that is the second phase of the project where you prepare a design, a high level design document, a low level design document, stuff like that. Then these design documents are reviewed. Who reviews this? These are reviewed by the developers. So the designers are going to explain why the design is what it is and the developers are going to review it once a knowledge transfer has taken place once the developers understand the design thoroughly they will say a yes instead of a no if they say no you go back to the design process again if they say yes the next step is develop so you then develop the software based on the design which is proposed once development is done the code goes on to the testing department now there could be code reviews that are done by testers. There could be, um, you know, reviews of the code related documents by the testing team as well. So once that is done, once the review happens and everything is fine, that's when you enter the test phase of the project. And that is where the code is tested. After that, there is a review again. This review could involve the product manager. In certain cases, this review could also involve the end customer, right? So when the end customers are involved, of course, it is known as a beta. So beta testing may be required. Once all of this is done, everything is a yes. If it is a no, you go back to testing. You try to figure out if you need to go back to development and you also may have to go back to design, right? So that is also possible. But if everything goes fine, testing is done, you then deploy and you go live. So this is a flow chart of how software development project works. Now, of course, we just talked about this. The other thing is you are basically visually showing the different phases of the project. These are the phases requirements, design, development, testing and deployment. These are the several different uh, phases of the project that are being shown visually. Now there is also a node for review. We have it one, two and three times. So there are uh, review nodes thrice that occur in the whole flowchart. 
now these uh, reviews are also responsible for decision of course and the flowchart is self-explanatory we just talked about it as well and it also shows how the phases relate to each other how a yes decision will lead you to the next phase if a no decision comes up then you go back to the previous phase finally if you notice it is also representing the entire process and sometimes you may have to change the process to get quality right now let's say you do a project it is good with design it is good with review of after development but in the final review a customer comes back and has certain issues because of which you have to go back to your requirements document that happened in the first project in the second project you realized the same issue and you had to go back to the requirements phase so this is bad quality and then you can create a flow chart of all the phases of your project and you may realize that we need a review process between requirements and design we need a review here itself and maybe we need to involve someone who knows the customer best or maybe we need to involve the customer in this review uh, node itself so that we don't go through design development testing and then in the last stage is when we are getting to know that we need to work more on our requirements so this kind of changes will be possible only if you are able to see if you are able to visualize how the project management process work and that is the key that's the most important feature of a flow chart so before we end the video a quick reminder if you're looking for all the pmp courseware articles and videos that we have done head over to pmclounge.com slash pmp training a very important resource in your pmp preparation for sure that's all that we had in this video do hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content and as always, don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource with hundreds of videos and helpful articles. Thank you and have a nice day.